Thank you, and thank you for inviting me to participate in Sprocket and in certainly to tell you what we're doing. So WebTuner has developed a new way to watch television. It's an end-to-end -end broadband television platform where we bring broadband to television, not television to broadband. The first thing we needed to do was find our own set-top box. And we knew it's time for a change. So if you look here, you'll see that Rich Fickle, the head of NCTC, believes that WebTuner is a way to keep current broadcasters relevant and competitive in a world where they're being pushed by technology and the economics of old head-end systems. Uh, NCTC, of course, represents about 24 million subscribers. So WebTuner, the first thing we did is build our own box. This is a plug-in computer that will serve as, an, as an, our first use case as a video set-top box. Inside of this device is a one and a half gigahertz dual core processor, half a gig video card, a gig of RAM, 16, 32, or 64 gigs of flash, dual band, Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5, Bluetooth and BLE enabling, and Zigbee RF. So there are multiple ways to connect to us. You take the box home, plug it in, HDMI out to your TV. If you have Ethernet by the TV, you could plug it in. Otherwise, it automatically connects wirelessly, and off you go. The second thing we invented was a new remote control because it has only seven buttons. Of the remote controls you have, of the 40 button, 70 button remote controls, how many of you use more than seven buttons? Doubtful anybody. So it's on, off, volume up, down, channel up, down, navigation, menu and play pause, and this little star is a interact button. On the flip side, we have a full QWERTY keyboard because I know nobody likes to do on-screen alphabets. How do you like to look for things on screen? Up, 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 left, 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 down, down, down. Oops, I made a mistake, start over. So we have a full QWERTY keyboard because our system has very powerful search. It's also a very smart device. It talks via RF to the box. It talks via IR to the television. So hopefully you'll only need one box and one remote. The next thing we did, I'll go back, is do a new guide. The guide is, integrates all the world's content, live VOD, the internet services, new kinds of content. If Stanford wants to stream courses, they can because we're totally interactive. And because we have a keyboard and the box has Bluetooth, you can even connect a Bluetooth keyboard for educational applications. So we have a new guide. It has all content. And it has what every new kind of guide should have. It has personalization. Every viewer in the house will have his own guide. It has recommendation, and it has search. And the third thing we did, which is the holy grail for content and advertising, is we have transaction-enabled, hyper-targeted ad capability. So we have an addressable advertising system. Every ad can be hyper-targeted, interactive, and transaction-enabled. And we can enable e-commerce in many ways through the guide. If you want to see a live demo, because usually it takes us much longer to show you all of our capabilities, we're at the WebTuner booth up front. Today is our really first public day. We've been stealth until now. because uh, So today was our press release announcing the public launch of our company. So we have benefits for every single person in the ecosystem. For the user, they get a delightful user experience that's intuitive and very easy to use. For, <coughs> so that's for viewers. For MVPDs, it takes them out of the old infrastructure into a new way to deliver 
OTT, television for the OTT generation, if they switch into a broadband service kind of condition, they also have huge cost savings from the current head end system, and it brings them new ways to make money and enhance the ways they're currently making money. For advertisers, you get really good data about your ads and their accountability. You get <clears throat> a way to target your customers so you're buying the audiences you want to find and don't have to overbuy. You don't have to buy 10 million impressions to get the million people you want. And of course, the last one for content owners, with targeted advertising, they can get higher rates for the ads, and from transaction fees, they can bring new revenue streams. So what we're trying to do is work with the current infrastructure, MVPDs, telcos, ISPs, and anyone who wants to become a global virtual cable company to be able to be relevant and competitive in a world that's full of technology challenges. And of course, since we have this wonderful plug-in computer, we've been approached to do lots of other things with that device, like digital signage and um, streaming of very hardcore games and all kinds of other applications. Because the plug-in computer is an open source uh, device, we are written on top of Android. Clearly, developers can come up with their own kinds of great things to use it with in this new Internet of Things. So we have a very wide breadth of capabilities, and we welcome you to come visit us.